Basra. Baghdad. Your perspective from Baghdad was, were the lines of communication and, indeed, the lines of resourcing and exchange of information. Reasonably open in your year? In terms of civilian resources? Yes, principally, I suppose. We didn't have a lot of money to spend in the South. We spent considerable sums, but we didn't have the resources that the U.S. had, but during my period, it was about getting the Iraqis to spend their own money. Oil production was up to 2.6 million barrels a day at the time, but the Iraqis had an unspent capital budget. Therefore was, I mean, I remember complaining, there was $2 billion of capital sitting in the Ministry of Finance unspent, with demand for power stations and roads. So it was getting the Iraqis to spend their own money wisely that was the focus. I'm not sure it was a question of resources, it was a question of governance. How far does that lie back in the history of 2003, and even 2004, where certainly the American approach, was we have heard it, was to engage in quite long-term plans for large-scale projects, oil field development, electricity and water infrastructure, as opposed to things with a quite short payback period. It is difficult to know. At the time, I used to have a weekly meeting and somebody would tell me the megawattage of electricity that was being produced. It was one of our indicators, was it going up or down? It was very difficult to deliver, given the security situation, you know, the transmission lines were being blown up. It was very difficult to get a power station project up and running. You had a very weak administration, and I think part of the problem was that you had no means of delivery. One of the discussions I had with the Deputy Prime Minister a lot was, could you take this out of the bureaucracy? The Iraqi bureaucracy was in no fit state to deliver on a reconstruction program. Could you somehow take that out? Because, so you had a weak system, which is a function of the collapse of the Iraqi bureaucracy in 2003 to 2004. So you had to rebuild that system at the same time as which you were trying to rebuild the infrastructure, at a time when the government was trying to establish the constitution, former government. And much more interesting things like that against an appalling security backdrop. So there were, you know, there were formidable obstacles in terms of getting the power grid up, power stations built, oil pipelines repaired and I can't say we had a huge amount of success. Were you, yourself, in the problem zone in terms of balancing electricity supply in the south, where much of it was being generated, and the center of Baghdad? I did intervene a couple of times to suggest that there was a national grid and that Basra couldn't just isolate itself from events, but there were occasions when Basra was having twice as much power as Baghdad. So there was politics being played there and we did intervene with the government to try and improve the situation and to prevent a beggar thy neighbor policy. Right. 